The use of hyperbaric oxygen therapy is well accepted for a number of injuries, but its use to treat brain injuries is still highly controversial. In spite of that, a young American woman has been traveling all the way regular basis to get that therapy. She's hoping hyperbarics will do for her what conventional medicine can't. Linda Aylesworth has her story. Stephanie Martin has come a long way from Idaho to British Columbia, but her journey has been more than geographical. Because when these trips began one and a half years ago, Stephanie was unable to walk or communicate, the result of a brain injury sustained in a horse riding accident. Stephanie's coming back, you know. She was just lying in a coma. She's now having, she's getting her life back. Well, when we first met Stephanie, she had been coming to Coquitlam for hyperbaric oxygen therapy for about six months. While her condition had improved a lot, she still needed help walking, and her cognitive skills had a long way to go. Getting into the hyperbaric chamber itself, which she did ten times a week, was tricky and required two people to lift her in. But today, Stephanie was eager to show us how much she has improved. It borders on the miraculous. It, it's just astounding, uh, the progress that she has made. Dr. Larry has been working with Stephanie over the last few weeks to help retrain her injured brain. Uh, hyperbaric is a, is a godsend because what it does, it, uh, it gives new life uh, to some of the neurons that are sort of dormant or idling and it, it, it brings them back to life so they're ready to work. And all we try to do after that is to teach them more skills and to make better connections. Can you make it nice and straight? Wow, all righty. Stephanie has made six trips to the HOC Health Center for Treatments and has undergone 280 dives in the hyperbaric chamber so far. The cost to date has been about $40,000, money that's come from a trust fund set up for Stephanie back in Idaho. Is Stephanie's worth yeah, much more than that? It's just, you know, I'd do it over again in a second, only come sooner. Just follow it with your eyes. Dr. Rutanzi, who's been overseeing Stephanie's care here from the beginning, is aware that these treatments are controversial. In fact, it's because of that controversy that Stephanie must cross the border for her therapy. In North America, it is only used for certain conditions in the hospital and not brain injuries. You see, in Europe, uh, it is used uh, for brain injuries. I'm better now, yeah. yeah. Yep. And um, um, my, my wheelchair, um, I gave it back to um, um, the veterans. Yeah, 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 yeah. But would Stephanie have recovered to this degree without hyperbarics? You know, she's come so far, and if she would have even come this far, it would be years where the hyperbarics have brought her back quickly. What are you going to do when you're all better? I'm going to drive my car. <laughs> yep. 